What's going on, everybody? What's happening? It is Thursday, so it's time for the Love Entrepreneur Show. I think we might change the name of that at some point. I I, I don't know. It, it, it sounds good to me, but, you know, hey, we'll see. But I got Lisa. I got Lisa Brown with me. I think some other folk may be coming in uh, at some point to hang out with us as well as we talk about scaling small businesses. What's up, Lisa? How you doing? I'm all right, man. Just been busy. Good busy. Good hey, busy. So. Nothing's nothing's wrong with good busy. Yeah. Good busy is uh is a nice place to be, actually. Good busy. It is. Like think, sometimes you wake up in the morning and by the end of the day, the amount of progress that's happened is like I couldn't have predicted it. I have no idea. But as the day goes and you're in that flow, everything just kind of unrolls and just naturally happens. And at the end of the day, I'm like, wow, I did a whole lot of stuff. So that's how hey, life is lately. So I like it. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Listen, tell tell the folks who you are, what you do. Okay. My name is Lisa, Lisa Brown. I'm a strategist. I let me see. My company is called Solutions via Carulian LLC. And we are a business innovation firm. And um, we help businesses. Well, primarily right now, my main focus is helping business owners and entrepreneurs to uh, let them understand their brain some more to ed educate them on um, anatomy, physiology and science, because, you know, we, we learn these things like in high school and maybe college and then like that's it. But they play a role in our everyday lives. So it would behoove us to get reacclimated with our operating system because, you know, there's nothing that your body does that the brain is not responsible for. Yeah. Your body cannot do a thing because, as you know, should unfortunately something happen to someone and you hear that their brain dead, the body is dead. Like the body can't do a thing, right? Because the brain is dead. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to make sure that our population, as much as I can influence it, knows more about their bodies and their brain, how they work together, and how science is related to everything all around us all the time so that's what i'm doing but i'm also a solution a solutions firm i'm out here helping businesses manage some of their business affairs and just have things operating and rolling as e easily as possible that that's what i'm out here trying to do i love it i think it's great and listen if you have not connected with lisa or this is your first time even hearing the name lisa brown you need to connect with her. You can connect with her on LinkedIn and you because you need to hear more of this. I'm telling you, this is this is good stuff. It's needed stuff and uh, it's valuable. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm Oliver Marcel and I uh, live in the relationship space, passionate about relationship building, speaker, author and coach in that space. Seeing relationships thrive is my sole goal in life. You know, I do some other things as well, voiceovers and and uh, video editing and things of that nature, content creation. Uh, but at the core of who I am, man, I love to see relationships thrive. And I love to uh, be in a space where I can see that happen. If you want to connect with me and have a conversation, you can connect with me on LinkedIn as well. We got the great Peter Russell coming in as well. Peter, thank you. You just on time to uh, to let us know who you are and what you do. Right on time. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Peter Russell. I'm a sales trainer and business consultant slash business coach. I love it. And Peter's, Peter's one of the best in the business. If you're trying to get some direction around business development and consulting, you need to be in that space. Now, let me tell you why it's significant. Now, every, every show that we do, we always have everyone in, uh, introduce themselves, right? Let me tell you the significance of that today. Today, we're talking about scaling businesses. And there's a method to the madness as it relates to scaling business. And Peter dropped out. Hopefully, he'll be back soon. There's a method to the madness around choosing this today. Uh, there is something that we want to talk to you about that we believe will be helpful in the scaling of your business. Juan Lee is in the house. Juan Lee says, hello, all. What's up, Juan? Hey, Juan uh, thank Lee. you. Thank you for being here. Juan Lee is, is uh, a, a part of this uh, scenario as well that we're going to talk about. But in scaling business, there are some things that there are some things that are necessary. Right. Um, Indeed. We need marketing. We need 
advertising. We need supplies. Supplies. We need coaching. We need what Peter does. We need consulting. We need yeah. graphic design. We need video yeah. production. We need course creation and we need course work. We need education. We need the stuff Content. that Lisa provides, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine right now if you could get all of those things that you're looking for to scale your business and you did not have to pay as much as you thought you would have to pay. Let me give you a great example. I am doing a website right now for someone. And when that website is created, this person will pay me the fee for the website. Now, this is not the fee, but let me just use this as a round number. Let's say the fee is a thousand dollars, right? What this person will have the opportunity to do is pay me five hundred dollars. Already, that sounds great, because if you can give me something for half the cash that I would normally pay, we're already good. Now, how do I get the other half of that? The other half of that is coming to me in something called Silva, S-I-L-V-A. Silva is an internal currency uh, of Silvertree. And we're going to talk about Silvertree today because for those of you who are in small businesses and trying to scale, that is a phenomenal place to start. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play something just to kind of give you an overview of what we're talking about. And then I'm going to come back and pick Lisa's brain about scaling business. And Peter, I believe, is in the house, too, uh, voice wise. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. So take a look at this get an idea of what we're talking about in terms of scaling your business. And then we'll, we'll talk business holistically, you know, from a scaling perspective, but then we'll also talk specifically about this thing that we believe could be a benefit to you. All right, let's do it. We run attention. I just got some marketing materials for my business and I didn't pay any cash. That's right. You heard me. No cash. Imagine going into a mall that is designed just for businesses and inside this mall is everything that you need for your business from marketing and advertising to coaching to video editing to voiceover work to course development and everything that you can think of. Now imagine going into one of these places asking for what you need for your business and when you get to the counter the person tells you that you don't need to pay cash. Now, I know what you're asking. How in the world is that possible? This is how it's possible. It's possible through Silvertree, a business community that creates the opportunity for members to do business with each other using an internal currency called Silver. There are over 450 businesses that are a part of this community, and it's growing every day. How can you be a part of it, you ask? Click somewhere around this video and sign up for the next webinar so that we can introduce you to this new and incredible way of doing business. Business. We want your business to be a part of this community. So we're looking forward to seeing you inside. So that that's that's Silver Tree. And if you are interested in that, there's a website on the bottom that you can uh, go to to visit and get more information. You can also contact any of the folk that you see on the screen right now uh, as it relates to understanding more about silver tree and and like i said in in a in its simplest form it is a it is a group of businesses a business community that has set it up so that you can do business with the members of that community and not necessarily have to pay the full amount in cash like you would normally have to do so for example let's say for example peter russell who is at the top of his game as it relates to business consulting if you wanted to work with Peter, let's say I want to work with Peter and Peter charges another round number I'm going to put out there is $10,000. Peter charges $10,000. Peter may say, to me, right, exactly. Let's be clear about that. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Peter may say, listen, how about you give me 70% of that in cash and the other 30% you can give me in silver, right? So it's a beautiful way to scale your business. And so as we're talking about scaling business today, you know, there's some things that we need. And I, I'd love for you guys to kind of pitch in on, you know, what, what you think a, a small business would need to scale. And I can promise you whatever you hear them talk about in these next few minutes, you can get in the Silver Tree community. So just keep that in mind.
So what are we looking at in terms of scaling small businesses? What, was, what, what should be what should we be paying attention to? All right, uh, I'll take this one first. <laughs> OK, OK. Well, first of all, information. This is number one differentiator, uh, no matter what you do. Um, one thing to understand is, have you had the right information? You would have already seen different results by now. So if your results aren't what you think you should be getting, well, that may be due to you acting on wrong information. So get around people who know what you need to know, get the right information so you can execute what you need to do in the right way and get the right results. Number two, what you can get is the people I'm talking about. Yeah, people who have built successful businesses before, not once, not twice, many times. It's also something what can you what you can get in uh, love entrepreneurs and through silver tree as well. Uh, number three would be experience. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely paramount to uh, understand that. No matter what your business is, right now, this isn't your last business. Mm. So by actually operating and running this business, you are getting the experience you need mm. for your next one. Mm. So, true. so it, you need to think of it in these terms so you can actually see the wood for the trees so um if you are doing what you're doing right now getting experience your next business may run alongside the one you already have it may replace it no one knows but the point is you would never ever get to the second business or if you will it wouldn't be the correct way therefore Again, you would not see the results you really want. So Silver Tree and Love Entrepreneurs is the number one place to get all of these things at the same time. You get the right information, you get the people to help you, and you get the experience with the guidance of those people. Wow, that's good. That's good, yeah. man. And and, and listen, if, true. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know what love entrepreneurs is i know you heard us say silver tree if you're new to this uh this is your first time watching us love entrepreneurs is a group of professionals as i cover up the great peter russell a group of professionals and entrepreneurs business owners the whole goal is to help ordinary people build extraordinary businesses and they do that with something called the big fix we've all gone through the big fix where you get the opportunity to share your vision for your business, your dreams, your goals, your pain points, your challenges, and the group pours into you. Today was a phenomenal one. And unfortunately, yeah. uh, Callum can't be here with us, but man, today was great. Callum got so much information. Callum, extremely talented uh, video editor and uh, content creator. And the group just showered on him. And I, I got the opportunity to talk to him afterwards. Yeah. And I, I asked him, I said, how you doing, man? And, and I told him I was tired. And he said, he said, bro, man, I'm tired, too. And he was like, just I said, how, how'd you like it? How was your experience? He was like, that's why I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, yeah. much, so much information. And just what you talked about, so much information came to him mm -hmm. in these two days that he was part of that big fix. He got the people around him who have the experience. And now. He's going to be a part of Silver Tree as well, where he can now garner some of the support that he needs, some of the stuff that he needs to scale and get clientele. So it is a it is yeah. certainly a win win. What one do you think? Oh, good. Uh, sorry, Oliver. One thing I would want to add before I let Lisa take the stage. Um, when you are thinking of scaling the business, I would really like warn you be really careful what you wish for mm. um 
while it all sounds great, there's nothing worse than trying to scale the business prematurely. And what happens as a result is every business contains obviously the good bits, which is making money, doing a fantastic service to your uh, clients or offering an amazing product. But it also contains a lot of bad stuff, which while at small uh, scale can be contained and managed. If you haven't solved uh, these problems on the internal side, uh, you haven't um, understood them identified, first of all, and managed uh, or addressed. When you scale your business prematurely, you scale those problems with the business. Mm. So you are scaling not just the good bits, but also the bad bits. And while when you are small, all of these things are manageable, and even if you mess up, it costs you just a bit of pain, a bit of money. When you scale up at this size, the same things can cost you the business pretty much. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Sure. That's good. That's good advice. Yeah. So that so that's all the more reason why you need to have some folk around you and be in a community where you can get this kind of information and you can be exactly. exposed to individuals who are doing it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. What you what what you thinking, Lisa, in terms of, of scaling the business? Now, here's the beautiful thing. Lisa has experienced this. What Lisa does now is not her first business. So to speak to what what Peter yeah. said. So yeah, let's let's talk about that. Yeah. It's not my first business. This isn't my second business. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not your last one either. <laughs> it's definitely not the last one. Now I know for sure it's not on purpose. <laughs> but before mm -hmm. I didn't know. <laughs> Um, you know, it's, it's, it, it can be difficult because, you know, I, again, this is my third business. The first one was immediately after I graduated from college mm -hmm. and I just, you know, not knowing, you know, foundationally what I should have had, just trying to do my best, just wanting to be an entrepreneur, knowing that I was supposed to be, but not necessarily knowing how to go about it, not having, you know, maybe people that I really was familiar with. I didn't know anyone that was doing anything independently, but I, I had this desire so much and I just had to figure out, you know, it came to me, everything always came to me, but you know, it, it could have been a bit easier had I had more knowledge and background to properly set myself up from the very beginning. But it was going through those experiences that has helped me to learn each time you know, from those experiences, um, going from doing things independently to partnering, which didn't go well initially. I, I carried that type of, um, what would be the word? I don't want to say regret, but, you know, it wasn't the ideal partnerships. And now on business three and many, you know, 20 years later, this is 20 years, gosh, more than 20 years since the first business. And my, the way that I view collaboration and partnerships is completely different than the first business. Mm -hmm. And now because I have worked on myself and the way that my brain operates, collaboration is a completely different ball game because I, in addition to learning everything that I had learned from in the past, because of my cohesion of my brain, how it works, and that I'm able to make really good decisions now, the pedigree of partners that I have now or that I'm even around is completely different. Mm -hmm. Completely different because Precisely. I'm in a different headspace, literally. So therefore, I'm having people come around me who are in also similar mindsets. So collaboration was never this easy before. It was, it's, the people just kind of flow to you. You know, it's not even like you're doing anything in particular. And, you know, 
being affiliated with Love Entrepreneurs is exactly that. It brought other people uh, who have similar convictions and uh, a consciousness level that was very important to me. Uh, you know, I, I do like to do business with people who are ethical mm -hmm. and that would be my preference. <laughs> so the people and the companies that I'm meeting now are, I'm like, this matches, this matches so well. You know, I, I don't have to, you know, you know, lose my integrity in order to do business with you. You know what I mean? So um, that was always very important to me. And now it's like effortless. It's, you know, I'm just meeting people and it's flowing and it makes sense. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Let's pick on this one. Um, the interesting thing and also the main difference between you now and you back then is that you have gotten some experience you've learned and uh, went to now court twice. say it again went to court twice i was taken to court twice mm. by that's somebody that's quite some experience <laughs> yeah yeah you know um so, you know I'm, I'm watching people perjure themselves in court making up stories and i'm sitting here like wow like you know, that was the partner experiences that I, I'm coming from. You understand? So after something like that, you kind of are very wary of collaboration and mm -hmm. reaching out. But it's necessary. It, it, in order to scale your business, you have to reach out. You have to. You, you need people, 100%. Yeah. You know, so uh, it was something I had let's to just, do. Let's know? just pause here with the, the, the people and the flow those two words are key for me and i would want others to pick up on this too people were flowing to you even before the difference between then and now is that you are different you know what you see you understand when i see this this is what it means so you are able to filter out the wrong people and by design stick with the right ones for you you know what's right what's wrong now back then you were just looking at the surface as okay this kind of um, looks all right let's do this let's try now your approach is very different isn't it the due diligence is very different it's a lot deeper also you are looking at very different things so Simply the people who were just passing you by before, you are not uh, going for all of them now, or uh, you are not uh, hanging around the first ones you meet. You are very careful in selecting which ones are actually those who whose mission is aligned with yours. Right. So you can collaborate and uh, fulfill both of your missions at the same time, because Simply, it's easier when you share the journey with someone. Absolutely. And you need, you can't do everything alone. And I, I knew that in the beginning, but I couldn't find people who were, you know, again, I was aligned with. And now, as you say, there is a filter, but I'm not doing any too much work. There's just mm -hmm. a natural attraction of the correct people towards me because all, the very main important thing is that because of my mindset and how it is set now, I am getting the proper people because as much as I attract the people that I would prefer to work with, I'm also repelling the people that I would rather not work with it as well. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. happening as well. And this is a mindset thing. And it's, you know, it, th there's work to be done. I've done a lot of work to get here. Um, it's taken my whole life to, you know, perfect the, my brain activity so that I am able to get the outcomes that I would prefer. So I'm very mm -hmm. excited to have this course that's coming up very soon where I can help others get to that point. Uh, the whole working in brain surgery thing was a little helpful, but <laughs> it's my life experience that has been the most instrumental in my progress and what's happened in this last company over the last two years plus, because I'm now um, two years and some months old in this company. And I've never been able to fully engage 
my business in the past because I had to be working mm -hmm. full time in some capacity in mm -hmm. order to, you know, it's hard to be in two places at once. It's hard to have yeah. a dream, but I have to pay the mortgage and the light bill and the gas bill and put food on the table and I have to do laundry and do take mm -hmm. care of the kids. And you have to do all these things. So this is the first time that the business was first and employment or anything else was after. So that's how mm -hmm. this is also different. I've had the 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 whole one hundred percent of myself to commit to the development yeah. of this company, and that has been the game changer because I was never afforded that in the past two companies that I had, as much as I wanted to, and it was just you know, if I was cloned, it would have been so much easier. But that's illegal still in the states for human beings you know, being cloned. So therefore, I had to make it happen. But this time around, I was not negotiating with it. This is what I'm doing. I'm coming first, and that's how this is going to run. And that is why I have made the progress that I've made, and I made it past that crucial two-year mark that you know a lot of small businesses can't make it to. So mm -hmm. that is in a victory in itself, and things are exploding right now in a, the most positive way and only because i was 100 percent brain focused on the business no more splitting my brain over here and over there and over there full concentration in the now that is how this has happened so far so i'm just grateful and thankful every day that's awesome man and that's and uh you you talked about the mindset piece too and and isaac clement is in the house i saw his comment i put up before scaling, mm -hmm. considering, consider dealing with internal issues first. And some of those internal issues might be how we feel about what we're doing or how confident we are in what we're doing or the how confident we are in the fact that it is scalable, right? Well, everything and, is about how we feel. Everything indeed. is about how we feel. Indeed. And you it should. It influences everything that we do, think, say, the mm -hmm. feeling that we have is what is going to make us successful or not. Because if you want to be successful, but you can't see yourself being successful, then you're not going to be successful. That's right. Which means you got <laughs> to get know, in this course. You can't ask for what you can't see. Mm -hmm. So listen, you you guys that are out there, you're going to have to get in this course because you hear what Lisa's talking about. Lisa is developing a course that is going to give you the tools that you need from a from a brain perspective, from a mental capacity perspective, from a mindset perspective that will allow you, because first we sometimes when we think about scaling, we jump directly to what are the items that go, are going to get me to the bag, so to speak? What's going to get me the money? What's going to get me the employees? What's going to get me the, the office space? What's going to get me all these things where I can, in a tangible way, say that I've scaled? But if we're not thinking the way that we should be thinking, if we're not processing the things that we should be processing, if we're not brainstorming to the capacity that we should be, we're never even going to come up with the things or recognize the people or ingest the information or gain yeah. the experience that's necessary to get all those other things. Absolutely. And remember, I totally agree, awesome. yes. Remember, the average human being uses 5% of their brain capacity. The average human being uses 5% of their brain capacity. So wow. that can be changed. It can be adjusted. And we can we can bump that number way up. Mm -hmm. We can. But we, we have to be open our mind and understand that there's a lot more at play and give the brain the respect that a it lot. deserves. Because if this is not working efficiently, then nothing in your life is going to go the way that you would like it to go. Wow. But we need to understand brain facts and brain basics and understand that, you know, if there, your brain is doing stuff you don't like, you can change it. It's not that difficult, it's, especially with the methods that I have. It's not that difficult. Because if you're working at a 5% effective <laughs> efficiency weight, and I'm saying, would you like to go to 50 to start? Mm -hmm. mm. How do you think that might impact your life and your decision making and your business capabilities and the possibilities of what your business can do? 
let's get out of this single digit <laughs> brain capacity stuff. I, I can't do it. I heard that I had to have been probably seven or eight. And I heard that for the first time and I was insulted. That's how I felt about it. And I was like, I'm not going out like that. We got to do better than that. I will not accept 5%. So, you know, unbeknownst to me, I probably at that age started out on my path. I have a way of saying things and my life going exactly that way. And this has started since I was of single digit age. And throughout my life, it has gone exactly so. And I can tell you that my brain is happy. My body is happy because my brain is happy. I make better decisions now. And again, I attract the people to me that I would rather do business with because emotional intelligence is where we are in life right now. It's not about that whole IQ and, you know, what, what did you score on this test to decide how intelligent you are? It's the emotional intelligence that is what the what today forward is all about. What are you consciously about? Where's your integrity at? How are you living? Are you living in a positive space? Are you living in a negative space? Do you fixate your attention on negative things or do you fixate your attention on positive things? Because the answer to that is going to have a lot to do with the life that you're living. Yeah. That's good. We, we have, what it, you put your attention to, you get more of. Yes, naturally. It, it, it's basic. It sounds like basic common sense, but there's a lot of, of of us that use our attention. And when we're all, you know, you're focused on something that's negative, expect more of that. Listen, if you're going to watch something that's positive and, and you're going to get more of that. And this it, is just how the universe was set up. Einstein said mm -hmm. it. This has nothing to do with me. It's a very you know, simple, it's a very simple concept. It's very sim simple. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. But very there's actually science concept. data to back it mm -hmm. in case someone thought, hey, that sounds a little too wild for me. There's scientific data. There's experiments. There's dates and times. Listen, it, but, um, it's it's it it's pro it's proven in the devices we use. Right. Mm -hmm. If you take a camera. And you look at that cam, look through that camera and you focus it on something. That's what you're going to see. So never will you would never will you point never can I point my camera at Lisa and the camera see the moon. It's supposed I'm, to be me, right? Because <laughs> I'm not focused on the moon. The camera is on Lisa. So when I look through the lens, I'm going to see all of what I'm focusing on. So if you're focusing on the negative, expect to see the negative. Don't you can't focus on the negative and expect to see the positive. You can't focus on scaling but yet you can't focus on the 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 lack of confidence that you have and the fact that man this might not happen or maybe i might fail you can't focus on that and get to where you want to go and get positive results when you're right. iffy about your own intention just doesn't work that's a natural <laughs> law of nature that doesn't work in any other facet of life so it's not going to work here either it, it really won't yeah it really won't. But we have to know that and make these connections and understand that, you know, we don't just our bodies just don't do what they want to. Mm -hmm. It's governed by this. You know what I mean? And, and we have to kind of have a stronger bond with between our brain and our body and understand how it works and how, again, you got to do that internal work to really get the progress you want if you're going to scale your business. Listen, let me say this to those of you who are watching or might be watching the replay. You hear the phenomenal wisdom that's coming from these two individuals, Peter Russell and Lisa Brown. And here's the thing. You can work with either one of them. All you have to do is reach out to them and connect with them. Now, here's the thing. You can work with them outside of the community that they're a part of. And that's fine. Right. Be prepared to pay their entire fee. Just. Let's be clear about that. Be prepared. On a good day, I might take banana now and later. So you never know. You know what I'm saying? Be, be, <laughs> prepared to pay, be prepared to pay their entire fee, right? Now, here, here's the kicker, though. They are also part of the community that I talked about in the beginning, and I'll share it in the, in the end in just a few minutes. The, the community that they're in would allow you to work with them, and you would still pay their entire fee, 
but you'd be able to pay some of that fee in something called silver. This community called Silver Tree allows that. Love Entrepreneurs is the entryway into that. So that's something to think about for you guys. We got Sally Ann in the house. What's up, Sally Ann? Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Said, wow, this is this is was me talking to myself today. Yes, where we focus is what we get more of. Indeed. It is a natural law. Whatever you focus on is what you're going to see. And it's interesting in the space that I'm in, I often work with couples and one thing that happens quite often is that they are always projecting something that they would like to see in their relationship. But everything that they say and everything that they point to and everything that they conjure up is all the polar opposite yeah. of the thing they say they want to see. Yeah. And they're heavily <laughs> focused on that. And they can't understand on, why they're getting that result, and, and can't understand why the other stuff is not happening. And that's you have to be the change you want to you want to see. You got to be mm -hmm. it. You can't just you know. You know I'm going to be. This is so interesting. <laughs> this is so interesting because this just shows that a marriage is not that different from a business, and uh, you can. Uh, Pastor it over other things as well. So simply marriage or a ha happy marriage is a lot of hard work. It, you are building that happy marriage by the commitment to the person. You commit your time, your efforts, your money as well. And uh, it's the same in business, isn't it? So there is actually a way to build a successful marriage, same as building a successful business. The only thing you need to do is to find out what the blueprint is. It was the sequence of steps to be taken and then just put the hard work in. Yeah. It's not as difficult as uh, you may think. Both of these things require time and effort. And uh, one thing I would want to um, share here and now is which uh, my mentor Grant Cardone um, often uh, talks about. Everything in your life you see, feel, can touch or experience is a mm. Your friends are, or the friendships you have are a commission of the time you spent with these people and all the effort you put into communicating with them, uh, doing all sorts of uh, things together, etc., etc. Same with the marriage. Your job is a commission. But you have gotten the job by doing something good in the interview process. If you will start doing some crazy stuff, you will lose that job. Right. If you will continue doing good things, you will not only keep the job, but also prosper and get a promotion potentially. Right. Or get another job elsewhere where they would um, decide that, oh, we want an indiv individual like you are, and we are ready to value a person like this in our business. So simply start looking at all of the things around you, everything you do through the lens of, okay, if I'll do this, what kind of commission am I going to get? So simply, if you will do a good job, you will get a good commission. If you will do no job whatsoever, then it's literally just you can throw the dice and see what happens. Yeah. So it may be totally random. If you will be absolutely rubbish and you would sabotage this relationship or sabotage your business consciously or unconsciously, you will bring ruin to it. And it's going to be entirely of your making. That's true. That's true. That's good. I love it. I love it. Listen, you guys, this is the place you want to be. And let me just share with you again, just as we uh, come to the, to a close of this session, is that these individuals on this screen are a wealth of knowledge. You can connect with them on LinkedIn. You can work with them. And there's incentive to working with them if you are a part of Silver Tree or a part of Love Entrepreneurs. Love Entrepreneurs is a group of a fellowship of 
entrepreneurs and business owners with the sole goal yes. of you building an extraordinary business. And they're there to help you, to guide you, to give you the three things that uh, Peter talked about earlier, which is information, people and experience. You can get Precisely. all in that fellowship and then you can do business with these individuals. We're talking about scaling, right? You want to scale. So all of the things that you feel like you need or you you recognize after getting the information and the experience that you need, you can get within Silver Tree. And so, listen, we're going to uh, we're going to wrap this off. Actually, you know what? We got to go. We got to go out the same way we always go out. We got to allow Lisa to, to take us through the breathing exercise. We're going to share with you the community on mm -hmm. a, after that breathing exercise that you can be a part of that will allow you the tools and resources you need to scale and do it using less money. So let me turn it over to Lisa. All right, everybody. Um, we do this all the time, but this is something that I'm going to ask you to do in the morning when you wake up. We already talked before, um, you know, in prior weeks about setting your intention when you wake up in the morning before your foot touches the floor to just, you know, take a moment, take a little breath and just think about your day that's coming and how you want that day to play out. And, you know, if it's good news you want to hear, you know, um, progress you want to make, you get that in your head first before you even start your body moving. And it's not just something to do, it's because of the brain states that you're in, that you're now, you know, you're in that subconscious level of, of thought when you just wake up. So you want to stay there and linger for a little bit before you start moving, you know? But let's do this. Breathe, right? We, we don't breathe enough. We don't breathe correctly. So we have to just stop and make time for it, apparently. Yeah, we breathe and we are able to survive and we don't fall over. But we can do more. So that means every now and again, you're doing your errands, you stop, sit in your car, stop. Just so right now, everybody, just taking a deep breath, about five seconds. Hold it five seconds. Release. Don't breathe. All right. And you want to do that. Like maybe 10 breaths. Some people say do like some <gasps> like 25 times in the morning, however way you want to do it. If you want to do that approach or the softer approach, we need to oxygenate our bodies because every breath you take, 20% of that goes to the brain and this runs everything. So you want this as powerful as it can possibly be. So give it some air because you know, when we have issues and we don't get enough um, air to our brain, that's when we have a myofarsial, what are we going to mark? Myofarction, it's a fart. We call it a fart, like in, in, in short, like in medical stuff, but most people call it a stroke. Right, a myo infarction. So it's it's a it's a stroke, and that's what we suffer when we don't get that oxygen to the brain. So let's just overdo it sometimes, and just make sure you're getting that oxygenation because every breath you take in, the red blood cells are on the other side, ready to run it over to the brain. Right, this is what our blood does. So we need to oxygenate it. So let's just take some time and do that every now and again. And it's good to do it in the morning. Do it at night. We breathe all the time, but, you know, we can breathe a little different sometimes. There's a benefit to it. I love it. We're going we're gonna to do that and make sure that we get the oxygen to the brain because we need the brain in this scaling process. We need to make good decisions. We need to get good information. We need to gain great experience and we need to be around great people, all of which you can do right here, hanging out with the folks that you see every week on the Love Entrepreneurs show. Thank you, Lisa and Peter for being a part of this experience uh today and for those of you who were here with us live thank you for being here with us live those of you who will watch the replay thank you for doing that as well listen we're going to leave you with the promo that we played earlier about silver tree remember if you want information about that contact anybody that you see on this screen or send a message to me on whatever platform you are watching this on right now until next week we'll see you later breathe yeah. Breathe. Remember to breathe. Peace.
Attention. Attention. I just got some marketing materials for my business and I didn't pay any cash. That's right. You heard me. No cash. Imagine going into a mall that is designed just for businesses. And inside this mall is everything that you need for your business, from marketing and advertising to coaching to video editing to voiceover work to course development and everything that you can think of. Now, imagine going into one of these places, asking for what you need for your business. And when you get to the counter, the person tells you that you don't need to pay cash. Now, I know what you're asking. How in the world is that possible? This is how it's possible. It's possible through Silvertree, a business community that creates the opportunity for members to do business with each other using an internal currency called Silver. There are over 450 businesses that are a part of this community, and it's growing every day. How can you be a part of it, you ask? Click somewhere around this video and sign up for the next webinar so that we can introduce you to this new and incredible way of doing business. We want your business to be a part of this community, so we're looking forward to seeing you inside.